it's Bree the Coupon Queen. Welcome back to my channel. We are heading to Walgreens today for some incredible in-store deals. We're grabbing a ton of different baby products as well as some large laundry products. Final cash cost for these was $1.80 a piece. The best part is all you need is your phone to score these deals. So if you're new to my channel, take a second, hit that red subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a part of the channel and it's completely free to subscribe. That way you don't miss out on any deals that I share with you every single week. So you can stock up on the products that you actually use. There's a lot of great deals going on this week and you wanna make sure that you are using your digital booster. So a couple tips before we head inside. Number one, this digital booster is a multi-use booster. As you can see, it expands or it spans from about three weeks. So you're able to use this multiple times, which is really exciting. Also, we have a new PG rebate for either spend 20, get a $5 Visa gift card, or spend 50, get a $15 Visa gift card, which is the way that I'm gonna be doing it in store. Now it has to be on those select products and it counts the total after any coupons and discounts are used. So you wanna keep that in mind. But we're gonna go inside. At the end, I'll go over my transactions, any issues that I ran into so you know what to expect. And we are gonna calculate our final cash cost together so we know what to put in our budget. Let's go. The first deal is on these um, twist hair color. So they're $9.99 on sale. We have either a $5 digital coupon or you may have a $6 digital coupon. There's also a $4 digital floating around. You wanna clip the highest value digital coupon that you have. That way you can ensure that one comes off. So if you do have the $6 digital, that's gonna make your final cost $3.99 for men's hair dye, which is an amazing deal. Next, we have a great deal on Dove Men Body Wash. So this week, they're on sale for $7 each. Buy two, get a $3 register reward. You're going to grab two for $14. We have a four off two digital coupon. You'll pay $10, get back a $3 register reward. Makes your final cost $3.50 a piece. It also tracks towards this bonus on Fetch Rewards. When you spend $15, you're going to get $4 back. However, it does track after coupons are used, so keep that in mind. Next, we're going to put together the Kimberly Clark um, deal. Now, you can either do it in store or online. Online, these are a dollar cheaper. However, I have some register rewards that I want to use to lower my out of pocket cost. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do the deal in store. What I'm going to do is grab two of these that are two for 17. I have a two off two manufacturer digital coupon, and everyone will have this three off two store digital coupon. Those will stack and work together, saving you $5. So here's the tag that shows the deal for spend 35, get a $10 register reward. All of these products are included. So we're going to go grab some poise. I did the Scott last week. I posted that on my Instagram and my TikTok. That deal is still going on as well. So definitely check that out or you can mix and match any of these products. Next, we're gonna grab four sets of poise pads that are two for 11. Then there is a five off two digital coupon that we're gonna use for two of them. After we check out, we're gonna submit our receipt to either the Shopmium app or the Alexa app for $5 back on two. There's also an Ibotta rebate. My account has $2 back each. The limit is three though. So you're gonna get $6 cash back. There's only one day left on this rebate. So you're gonna wanna run and do this deal if this is something you wanna stock up on. I'm gonna be using this for my postpartum journey, so it's a perfect time for me to grab it. So this is one transaction that I'm gonna be do that I'm gonna be doing using that spend booster as well and completing the Kimberly Clark transaction. So again, you need to spend $35 on select products and get a $10 register reward. Total for all these products is gonna be $40. We have a five off two for the poise, a three off two for the huggies, and a two off two for the huggies. You'll wind up paying $30 out of pocket. You can pay with register rewards to lower your cost, and you can use up to $5 in Walgreens cash, but that's it. Then you're gonna earn back the $10 register reward, $7 in Walgreens cash from the digital booster, plus submitting to the Shopmium app or the Alexa app for $5 back on the other two poise. And finally, we're getting $6 cash back from Ibotta on the poise as well. Makes your final cost $2 for all six products or 33 cents a piece. Another great option that's included is gonna be the Huggies Little Swimmers. So these are two for $18, you would grab two. We have a three off two digital coupon. 
The next baby deal I'm going to stock up on is Pampers diapers. Now we do have a new PG rebate. Like I mentioned, Pampers is included as well as Tide gain a bunch of other products. So this is valid anytime from April 1st all the way until June 30th. So what I'm going to do is the Pampers deal. They are two for $21, buy three, get a $5 register reward in store, then clip the three off two digital coupon. So I'm gonna grab these three packs. Now here's a scenario you can do. You can grab these three in one transaction. Total for all three is gonna be $31.50. We have the three off two digital coupon. Then you wanna use any digital booster that you have. This booster that we got uh, last week or the week before for spend 30, get $7 in Walgreens cash, you can actually use multiple times. So once you clip it, you'll be able to continue to use it. So that will work on this deal because we have over $30 worth of product value. So you would pay $28.50 out of pocket. You can pay with any register rewards that you have. You'll still earn back the $5 register reward. Then you're gonna earn back the $5 Visa gift card for spending at least 20 on participating PG products and $7 in Walgreens cash from that digital booster. That makes your final cost $11.50 for three packs or about $3.83 a piece, which is a steal for Pampers. Next, we have some incredible laundry deals. So I was going to do it the gain way, but my store is out of gain flings. So what I'm going to do for this laundry deal, it's buy two, get a $5 register reward. I'm going to grab this Downy Unstoppables. We do have a $3 off one digital coupon. Then I'm going to come over here and grab one of these large gain liquids that are $9.99. We have a separate $3 off one digital coupon. So you're at $20.98 for both of these products. After the $6 in digitals, you'll pay $14.98, get back a $5 register reward, makes it $9.98 for two or $4.99 a piece. And both of these do work towards that PG rebate as well. So if you're trying to do the spend 50 way, which I'm gonna be doing today, these both will track towards that. The next laundry deal is gonna be on these smaller products. So these are by four, you're gonna earn back a $5 register reward and they're all $5.49. Now what I'm gonna do is grab one of the Tide Pods. There is a $1.50 digital coupon. Then I'm gonna grab one of the Tide Liquid. There is a $1.50 digital for that one. Plus, grab the small gain liquid. There is a separate $1.50 digital. And finally, the gain flings with the $1.50 digital coupon. So grabbing all four of these products brings you to $21.96. We have $6 in digital coupons. You'll wind up paying $15.96, get back a $5 register reward, makes your final cost $10.96 for four products or $2.74 a piece. My favorite deal is back to stock up on freezer bags. They are buy one, get two free, and they're on sale at $2.79. So grabbing three makes them about 93 cents each, which is cheaper than the dollar store, so definitely stock up. Next, we have two oral care deals. So we're gonna start with the Colgate. In store, they are buy two, get a $4 register reward, and select ones are $4.50. So I'm gonna grab two of these. There's a four off two Colgate digital coupon. You'll pay $5 out of pocket. Earn back the $4 register reward makes them just 50 cents a piece, which I think is a great stock up price for oral care. Next, I'm going to do an oral care deal. So if you still have the five off three digital coupon, this is how I'm going to use it. We love these Glide Floss Picks and I'm trying to make sure that I'm stocked up on everything that we use. So when I take maternity leave and I'm not going to the store every week, we're good on stock. So what I'm going to do, these are buy two, get a $3 register reward and they're $4 each. I'm going to grab one of these. <laughs> then I'm going to grab one of these small scopes that are $4. They're also included in the promotion. And I'm going to grab one of these small Crest toothpaste for $3. Then we're clipping the five off three digital coupon if you've not used it yet. If you've already used it, stay tuned. I have a cheaper scenario for you. So total is $11 minus the $5 coupon. We'll pay $6. Earn back a $3 register reward. Makes your final cost just a dollar a piece. If you've already used the five off three, this is what I would do. I would grab one Crest for $3. There is a dollar off one digital coupon. Then grab one of these Oral-B for $3 and clip this separate dollar digital coupon. So for both products, you're at $6. You have $2 in digitals. You'll wind up paying $4 out of pocket. Getting back a $3 register reward makes them 50 cents a piece. 
So our cart is completely full. I think it's time to check out. I'm gonna do this in a couple different transactions. So we're gonna go over the different transactions at the end if I have any issues at checkout so you know exactly what to expect. Let's go check out. I'm so excited for these deals. Okay, we're back in from Walgreens. I did have a couple issues today, unfortunately. I had a couple digital coupons not come off and then my first register reward deal didn't print which kind of threw everything off after that. So my out of pocket was about $15 higher than it should have been, unfortunately. I am gonna call Walgreens cash because I am owed about $9 in Walgreens cash, which is pretty significant. So I'm gonna spend the time and um, give them a call. But let's go over the transactions and what happened. So first I did the Kimberly Clark deal. Now I checked the products online and they all showed, I believe that they're working with that Kimberly, Kimberly Clark deal. So here's the $10 register reward from last week. Then here is the $5 coupon for the poise and the $2 coupon for the Huggies. Here's the $3 IVC coupon, which is the store coupon. So then I used $5 in Walgreens cash. I paid $16 out of pocket. So that all went fine. But the $10 register reward did not print, which I was gonna use in my next transaction along with Walgreens cash. So because it didn't print, she went ahead and gave me $10 in Walgreens cash, which I could use in the next transaction. However, that prevented me from using the additional $4 in Walgreens cash that I calculated to lower my out-of-pocket cost. So that, therefore, my out-of-pocket was a little higher. But I did get a nice surprise. Submit it to Ibotta. I didn't even realize that we had a $1.50 cash back each for the Huggies wipes. So I got $9.10 cash back and in the process of filming this outro section, it already got approved on Ibotta. So I did get the $9.10 back. Plus I submitted over to the Alexa app because I already did shop me last week at Walmart for $5 cash back on that as well. So I got a total of $14.10 cash back. So that transaction for all those postpartum and baby products cost me about $1.90, which is incredible. So transaction one, we loved it. Um, the rest of the transactions, I don't know what order I did to be honest. So let's just go through them. Oh, I also got back the Walgreens cash on that deal because each one I made sure was at least $30 so I could get the $7 in Walgreens cash from the booster. This one I did the L'Oreal. It rang in at $11.99 so she did have to price modify it. And the $6 digital coupon did not come off. So that obviously drastically increased my out-of-pocket costs. Then I did the buy four deal on this one as well and the Hallmark card. Everything else came off. So because I was missing a $5 register reward from the other gain deal, I couldn't use it to lower my cost on this deal. Because of the amount of Walgreens cash that you're able to use in increments, that also affected my out-of-pocket cost by $5. So my out-of-pocket cost on this one was $11 higher than it should have been. So I paid $17.89. Um, there was no cash back or anything on this deal. I did earn back the Walgreens cash, like you see here, $7.30. And then I did get back the $5 register reward for the buying four. I didn't have any issues with that part, which is great. Then I did, this is the deal that the $5 register reward for the gain in Downey did not print. So that's what affected, that was my third transaction. This one I believe was my second transaction. Also the $3 digital coupon, it was either for the gain or Downey. I'm not sure which one didn't come off. I'm assuming it's for the Downey. Um, the five off three came off, the four off two came off for the Colgate and one $3 coupon came off. So again, that affected my out-of-pocket cost by about $3. Um, I used $10 in Walgreens cash, paid $20.45 out of pocket. <clears throat> I did get back the $7 in Walgreens cash. And then I did get back a $4 register reward and a $3 register reward, just not the $5 register reward. So she went ahead and gave me Walgreens cash for that as well, which was super nice. And then I did the Pampers deal. So I also, when I get home, because you have to do like the barcodes and stuff and it's just too much in the car, I'm gonna be submitting for that PG rebate. So I'll be getting back another $15 Visa gift card. Now it's a Visa gift card, so you can use that to buy anything. So you can use that to buy gas and things like that. So I do count that as actual cash back. So in total, how much I spent out of pocket was about $68 and change 
plus all the cash back that I got from Ibotta, Alexa app, and the Visa gift card, my final cost was about $39 and change for 22 products, making it a dollar and 80 cents a piece. That's why even though I was having some issues at checkout, I calculated it and I went ahead with the deals. I know I always tell you guys, if things aren't working out at checkout, avoid and leave. It just depends on how much it's costing you versus what you need, if that makes sense. So obviously I need the baby products, I need the postpartum products, things like that. I wanna stock up and make sure that we have everything that we need before I go on maternity leave and not coupon for a couple weeks and going to the stores. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I still did the deals and I did the calculations. Before I went to the store, the calculations I did, my, my total cost should have been like $22 or something, which obviously would have been way better than 39. But like I said, a dollar and 90 cents for the large, like laundry products and stuff is still amazing. I can always resell those as well and make that profit back. So that's why I went ahead and did those deals. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button for me and I will see you next time.